Radio.com slash festival. Hey there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM. Up next, we wrap up our trio of westerns with a film star in the Duke, John Wayne, from Warner Brothers in 1972. It's the Cowboys. By the 1970s, the moral clarity of a good old-fashioned shootout between good guy and bad guy had become a victim of the times, and it looked, once again, as if traditional westerns had ridden off into a dusty Hollywood sunset. They were being replaced by more modern westerns, not in terms of era necessarily, but movies with much more gritty and realistic themes. Films like director Robert Altman's McCabe and Mrs. Miller, Sam Peckinpah's The Wild Bunch, and George Roy Hill's Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. In these movies, the bad guys were often the good guys. Then along comes the Duke and the Cowboys, bringing movie audiences back to a much simpler, primitive story. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. In the film, John Wayne plays a rancher with a herd of cattle he needs to get to market, but he's lost all the men he's hired to the gold rush. With no man to help him, he turns to a group of young schoolboys. They become literally cowboys. It's a good story based on a novel by William Dale Jennings and adapted by the married writing team of Irving Ravitch and Harriet Frank Jr. Eight years later, Ravitch and Frank earned an Oscar nomination for writing Norma Ray. Joining John Wayne are Roscoe Lee Brown, Bruce Dern, Colleen Dewhurst, and in his film debut, Robert Carradine, son of one of Wayne's old pals, John Carradine, from 1972, late in John Wayne's career, The Cowboys. Thank you. 